um, just looking around here uh, when I first built this this was uh, basically a very very small piece of land uh, surrounded by sea um, I'll just click on the map to show you the scale of the world that's been created um, as I said the initial part was just probably around there and then uh, I've extended the amount of land on the map um, and uh, you, there is a mini map as well which gives you a mini map there's a mini map showing you the position on the um, smaller scale that the map shows you it on a world view okay um, back to the screen here this um, is the avatar which I've called Head Boy Friars. Um, the initial setup is unfortunately a female, so I've had to uh, change the appearance. Each one of these things is called a prim, and it's built using tools which uh, are a part of the application. Um, I have to get used to using them. I'll just take you through. Uh, this one here, firstly we'll walk up to it uh, I just put some uh, slides on particular one showing a view of the school, there's the laboratories um, you can walk around the whole thing Okay, it's a physical object so you can't walk through it or fly through it touch this object uh, you've got the ability to be able to go to um, the external website so click on that it takes you through to the external website which uh, I shall uh, leave um, it's loading over here on the other screen okay we'll now move to set up this is a a video view which I built this enables us to play video um, that's linked to the web but it plays it actually on this screen um, the screen is a virtual screen so uh, it's possible to to go up to it and uh, walk through it away from it um, I've got various gestures I can do as well so if I fancy uh, dancing to it okay move on may as well walk through the stream while it's there Oops. And turn the sound out a bit move on This is the link that takes you to the um, email address, email uh, exchange of the school. So you can log in by clicking on here. It links to the email exchanges, the exchange page. Just take you around some of the. Now the environment was completely flat when I started, but if you want to see how it, easy it is to build something, and tools, sorry, build, a tool if I want to put a tree, I shall now build a tree, a tree here. Yeah, that's better. 
Now we can uh, edit the tree. Okay, uh, it's also the same with the land. If I want to flatten land, I can flatten it, I can raise it. Um, I'll just show you raising it now, I'll just raise the land a bit. I don't know whether you can see the land being raised, there we are. Um, I can make it quite dramatic if I want to. Um, I'll just roughen it up with some strength here. As you can see, it's uh, quite dramatic. I'll now lower it. Now it's possible to raise land out of the sea, so you can build islands in the sea. Okay, next thing to do is to um, change the terrain, so uh, I'll add some, uh, some grass to it, there we are, look. Okay, um, one of the uh, features is, uh, which is very interesting, is being able to fly, so we'll fly now. Oops, uh, got partly stuck through the screen. Well, that's really just a very quick tour of the uh, work that's gone on. Um, just to show you it's easy to get rid of things as well, I'll just get rid of that pyramid. That's one of the... Uh, That's the pyramid. I can move it to a new position. Put it up in the sky if I want. And then go back to fly, you'll see it's actually in the sky. The idea being um, these are just some of the primitive buildings but I wanted to show you the interactive aspects to show you that it's possible to link to resources to um, create resources and one of the things that I haven't shown you actually is uh, how that uh, I made the uniform so hang on a minute I shall do that now I'll stop flying and then change my appearance and do and change the shape of the body the skin the hair eyes um, we can I'll give them different shirts at the moment it's wearing a fryer shirt that's uh, my own design but we can change it to be any style I'll give them a little bit of a 